In this short video recording, we're going to take a look at the vehicle path tracking routine found inside of Carlson Civil 2012. To begin, I've got a drawing set up that conforms to the Illinois West State Plain Coordinate System, and I also have two roadway center lines that have been surveyed into my drawing. What I'd like to do is to offset each of these two polylines by at a distance that will represent where the center of my vehicle will travel as it transitions from one road to the next. I'll use a standard offset command to do this work. Once I've created my offsets, I'll go ahead and inscribe a turning radius for my given vehicle with a fillet routine. And um, presuming that my truck maybe has a turning radius of 30 feet, I'll just go ahead and indicate a factor of safety of maybe just like 40 feet uh, for this particular instance. And now that I have the, uh, the vehicle path defined, I'll actually go ahead and use the uh, vehicle turning path routine. So I go into Roads, Vehicle Path Tracking, and I can establish then the various uh, parameters for my vehicle, along with uh, any additional parameters for a trailer. And for each of these uh, given paths I'll be defining here in just a moment, I can specify a specific layer that they should be uh, placed onto. And uh, I can also indicate a station interval of how often I would like to see my vehicle path uh, placed or defined into my drawing. Once I've established the parameters that I desire, I'll go ahead and choose OK and indicate the polyline that that vehicle should follow. And the routine will then go through, place the vehicles into my uh, drawing along with the various paths. And I can then take a look at uh, the, uh, the final results in here and see how the vehicle is sweeping along the, uh, the path that I defined for uh, this particular project. To evaluate uh, the, uh, the results uh, against maybe what I already have out in the field, uh, I can issue the, uh, the file, polyline file, write polyline file command. In this case, go out to a Google format, and I'll call this uh, transition one. And I can choose uh, then all objects in my drawing, answer a few prompts, and display the results inside of Google Earth. So as we take a look then uh, at our given project site, uh, we can see that the, uh, the paths that have been swept out by the vehicle and the trailer in this particular example um, appear to be okay for what has already been designed out in the field. And uh, we can then choose uh, to uh, maybe redesign or look at alternative solutions uh, for this project site uh, as the case merits. That concludes this presentation. Thank you for your time.